Hey you guys, I know I said I was gonna do a video every day, so here we go. Um, remember those dogs that were brought to me eons ago, like eons ago, um, by Cheyenne Ross. Um, I am trying to finish these up in my kitchen tonight as we speak. I've had so much on my plate and so many this to do and so many that to do and so many places to be that these at times had to take a back seat to what was going on in my life. Um, Anyway, so here they are. Um, they are both supposed to be identical because they're both the same dog. They're both a dog named Frank. Frank's a sweetie, and uh, much to my surprise, and actually, I guess um, my lack of memory of the subject, um, because it was a wee bit ago, I was out at Central Farm and Tractor, I don't know if you guys remember, back in the fall about, I don't know, I want to say like seven years ago, and I was teaching the dogs to paint. I don't know if anyone remembers me doing that, and... What they did was they brought a pumpkin, right? Or they brought a canvas, or they were either there. Um, and you got to choose what which one of your dog was going to do. So the dog Frank that I'm actually painting now, Frank had done a pumpkin. And I had drawn a spider's web on it somewhere. I will find the photograph on my page. I'll ask Cheyenne to send it to me because she sent it to me. And um, I taught him to do this. And we did a tarantula out of Frank's paw print before. So we're old friends, but we're new friends again because I had, um, like I said, it had just slipped my mind. It had been so long ago. That was when I started the Artist Tribe. Um, and speaking of the Artist Tribe, um, everyone's always saying I should reopen it, I should reopen it. And Lord only knows I miss it. I really and truly do, right? It is one of the favorite things in my life that I have ever, ever done and got to explore that side of my creativity on such a level. Um, that I actually didn't get to create so much. But um, the classes that we had on Saturdays and things of that nature, um, I told you I had some stuff coming up that I'm going to do like this little wood, driftwood, like surprise. Um, there are so many things that you can do with driftwood, and I had no idea until I actually started looking it up. Um, people make coat hangers, coat racks, key racks, picture frames, lamps, placemats. I'm not joking. Um, out of driftwood. And I want to make every one of those things. And I want to make it available to people on a mass level. Not everyone lives near water. Not everyone um, has um, the access or a truck or anything of that nature to go down and get their own driftwood, right? So... Um, I'm going to make that accessible. I, like I said, this um, little thing that I'm doing here with YouTube is going to eventually lead you to a store that is on Etsy. Okay? Um, I'll let you know the name of it and all that as it progresses because there's lots to do with that shed out there and lots of driftwood to get because some of these orders that I'm seeing, like the people ordering boxes of it for decorations for weddings and things of that nature and sculptures, I need to learn how to weld um, and Mike is going to teach me how to do that. We just got a couple tanks to fill up and I want to start making sculptures. So, um, he is going to help me. He's going to be a huge, huge, huge part of that. You're not going to believe what Mike pulled out of the river tonight. You won't. I mean, I mean, I don't even know how he carried it, but it is magnificent. And like the vision that he has for it is incredible. Um, we'll have to show it to you. Um, when we're ready, when we cross that bridge, because We've also got the process of cleaning all of this driftwood, so it has to be stored where it can get dry. Um, not only that, it's going to have to get wet again, right? It's going to have to be immersed. It's going to have to be, be debugified. Because if you watched the video a couple um, days ago that I put on here, um, if you don't do that, right, you know what's going to happen. Um, you're going to get little critters like I got when I had to get those little yellow things off of Timu, right? So stay with me. Stay with me on this. Um, because I don't want that happening to anyone, and I don't want that um, happening here again either. Ugh. So <laughs> uh, long story short. Um, so that's what's going to happen. And kind of like the Artist Tribe, whenever we had... Um, vendors in there that were all types of artists like there wasn't one or two there was like what 34 people at one point in there um no matter what it was um that you brought to the table we wanted to have classes so i'm gonna have it's gonna kind of be, kind of be like a mr rogers neighborhood back there all of my friends that are artists i'm gonna be inviting them over i've been talking to them a little bit here and there haven't reached out to everyone yet because i just haven't had time with so many ventures going on and we're gonna be doing classes back here you guys for real we um um, Melanie might come over and teach you guys how to sculpt. Um, I've got friends that can actually lead you in workouts, but they have to, in order to do that, they've got to come over here and help me make a driftwood mirror, right? You see right now, um, Frank's other left leg. Um, I'll show you in a minute here once I get this leg done. Um, what's going on with this? 
But yeah, um, so we're gonna get this um, painted on. Let me see if I can scoot this back so you guys can paint with me. If you've got a project right now that you've been meaning to finish, why don't you go ahead and pull it out right now and do some artwork with me. Okay, um, turn on some Jeff Buckley. That's what I'm doing so we can get in total sync if you wanna create. Um, let's see what's going on with that. Um, my selection for Jeff Buckley tonight is uh, Sketches for My Sweetheart the Drunk. I haven't listened to that in so long, and it's really weird because I don't even drink anymore. And, uh, and neither does Mike, so that's really going well for us. Um, <laughs> um, I think that this is probably the only truly, truly sober relationship I've ever had. And I think that uh, speaks volumes for what um, he's brought to the table for me because uh, you guys know me. I was kind of wild. Um, so I'm just content to sit home and paint and do a lot of art. Um, I've been doing a lot of art that I have not been able to show you yet. Melanie's going to come over here because she's kind of really smart with the computer. She's going to work on with me. I'm putting like photo montages together um, to songs and things of like that that I do not own the copyright for. I'll go ahead and say who they are when they come up that way. Um, no one's got to come back after me and go wild on me. Um, actually, I'm learning all the YouTube rules. Melanie will probably tell me, oh, you can't do that. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, cause like I said, she knows a little better than I do. But yeah, there's gonna be people coming over and doing all kinds of stuff. We are gonna make little gnomedoms. We're gonna make little fairydoms. We are gonna make coat racks. We are gonna make bird stands and sculptures. So stay tuned, do, cause as soon as I get these dogs done, it's on. I've been putting these dogs off for so long that the guilt has overtaken me. And I'm not getting out of this chair tonight until Frank and Frank are done. Um, and like I said, um, I want to get this ankle done. I'll show you all of Frank of what's going on. Um, remember that Frank was a greyhound. He's no longer a greyhound. And forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I cannot tell you the name of Frank and what his breed is to save my soul. So, with that being said, my door might be open and we might have a clutch and a daddy right now. Oh no, my son just popped in the door. Let me spend some time with him, and you guys have a wonderful day. Um, actually, let me show you the dogs real quick, like I had promised before I go. Um, so here we go. Remember that they were greyhounds, right? Um, like I said, I had to pull Melanie and do some sculpting. I was having trouble with these ears. I could not get the ears to go without cracking. Melanie sculpted these and put all of his vascular system and all of the muscles in his face, even beefed his face up a touch because the greyhound's face was too thin. She added some more to the jowls right here. Um, he's got his collar on. He likes a neon green collar. Here's what his legs look like in the front. Frank, oh, I just knocked that off. Um, the other one. Hopefully is equally as identical, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, down to the little toenails. So yeah, and I'll turn them around real quick for you. Um, the backs, here's one side right here, right? Here comes the other side. Let me spin this around. I'm gonna probably scratch my counters up. That's okay, because I've got another project coming with that. Okay, right here, you can see how his he curves around on the sides, right? I got a little cleanup right here to do. And because it needs to be more in this corner. I took some more drawings of him um, the other night when he came over. They were out on a walk and stopped by. And um, I need to bring it over to here. And then right there. And then uh, turn these around this way. And get this last rib cage done. Do a little touch up on his ears. And these dudes are done. And they're going to go home. Okay? I hope you guys have a great night. Take care of yourselves. All right? Bye.